and welcome to Paper Crafting with Tammy. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. It is awesome to see you here. I have a great project for us today that we're gonna start on in just a minute. If you haven't done it yet, take a minute and hit that big red subscribe button so you see what else I've got for you next time. And let's get started. Hey everybody, I am so excited to join you today. I am gonna be trying something completely new. So it'll be interesting to see if this turns out to be a demo video or more of a comedy video. I guess we'll see. I have been watching a lot of people play with these color burst powders from Ken Oliver. And I was able to find little three packs of them from a store called My Favorite Things. And I am having my first experience with these with you. So, Let's see how it goes. So obviously I bought three of the three packs because you know, why not get a whole rainbow of something before you ever even tried it. So one of the things that I saw somebody else do is prep some cardboard pieces and they had each of the panels that they were playing with um, on a piece of cardboard so they could kind of set it aside when they were done. So I'm gonna try that out. Um, I also, bought some Ken Oliver uh, watercolor paper. It's a heavy duty paper. I cut this into the size that I would wanna use on um, as like a card panel. So I'm hoping that that's gonna work. Ha, huh. all right guys. So I'm super excited, but I am a little nervous. Obviously I don't like to get that messy. I even have my handy dandy gloves on. So let's see how this goes, you guys. So the first one I wanna try is with this really fun stencil I have, it's super busy. I feel like I can't really go wrong, right? So I'm just gonna pick a few of my favorite colors. I'm gonna go with some teal. Now, from what I've seen, you just do well, drop a little bit of the powder. <laughs> I have no idea if that's too much or too little. This first one, it's gonna be an experience, you guys. I'm gonna get a little bit of this color. This one's called Blueberry. And again, I'm just popping a little bit in some different places. And so we've got some tropical teal, we've got some blueberry. How about just a touch of this Razzleberry? We'll see how this goes. I feel like a little kid right now doing art when I'm not sure what the rules are. So I've got a spray bottle of some water. Are you guys ready? Here we go. I don't know how much water to put, so we're gonna experiment here. Okay, ooh, wow. Okay, it feels like every little bit of water I add is adding a little more color and spreading that out. Holy cow, that is so cool. <laughs> Look at my bottles. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, they're all sprinkled. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop there. I don't know, like I said, I'm not sure if that's a right or a wrong choice, but I'm gonna go ahead and stop there. I'm gonna pull off this stencil. Yeah, might've done a little too much, I don't know. We'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this one aside. I can see that it's curled up a little bit. I did see um, there were some examples where people had taped them down and it may be that that would be a good decision. So I'll have to think about that. Um, I don't know, I don't know if I did the right amount or not. I'm gonna set this one aside to dry and we're gonna go from there. So I think on this next one, I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit of double-sided tape to kind of help adhere it down a little bit. I did see people taping the edges. Um, 
and I may try that at a different time, but I would wanna leave the panels a little bit bigger because what that's gonna do is create kind of a white edge. Oh, okay, so there must have been something on me. This is so funny. What a what an experiment we're doing. Okay, so this is another stencil that I have that it just has a really beautiful design. So I'm gonna put that there. And I think for this one, let's try a couple of lighter colors. So I'm gonna go with a little bit of this orange zest. And sprinkle that around. And now that I actually own some of these colors, I'll probably go back through and watch some of the videos, you guys. Um, and I'll learn as I go, just like everybody else did. So I'm gonna get a little bit of the yellow. And I'm going back to this Razzleberry. So I really liked the little accent that that did on the last one. Okay. Here we go. I'm trying not to do too much. And it may be that I need a little different type of sprayer. Pull that off. Ooh, that's actually really cool. All right, so there's that one. And I'm sure somebody's gonna leave me a comment and tell me what I could have done better. <laughs> and that's fine. <laughs> but I figured we're all trying to, you know, experiment and learn new things. And sometimes watching the person who does it perfectly is not all that helpful. On a different note, look at this paper where I took the stencils that I had used and I just flipped them over. And this was my paper for kind of gathering that. Now this is just a regular piece of white uh, cardstock. It's smooth on both sides. It's a close to my heart, like daisy cardstock. So I would need to probably flatten this out later, but this is beautiful too. So got a little positive and a little negative going on. I don't know that um, putting the tape the way I did was helpful, so I'm not even gonna bother with that this time. This is more of like a, could be a wave, scales for a fish or a mermaid. I'm gonna pick a few colors for this one. I'll use a little bit of this green. Haven't tried that yet. And I'm going back to this tropical teal. Whoa. And let's get a little of this grape jelly in here. And I don't know, how about some Coral Crush? Oh my gosh, for the girl who does not like to get messy, you guys have no idea, this is making me crazy. I wanna stop the video and clean my space. All right, here we go, you ready? Whoop, I already moved it. Okay. Oh, that's so beautiful. I think I might have put too much powder this time, you guys. And then I kind of wonder, at what point are you supposed to move the stencil? I feel like I should do it right away, but I need to look into that a little bit more. Yeah, see what happened? It's just all underneath. So, hmm. I would call that, I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna make a really cool piece of paper, but it did not do the stencil the way I was thinking. So gonna have to work on that formula a little bit. 
This is why my workspace is a laminate countertop. <laughs> so if I do decide that I'm gonna go a little crazy, I don't have to worry too much. Okay, last one is a tree stencil. And I know it's gonna go off the page a little, off the card, I'm not worried about that. And there were a couple, it says like family tree down here and had some other details. I just used some post-it labeling tape to cover those up. This has been working out really well for some different crafty things for me. And I think we'll just use a couple of the different greens. and a little bit of the yellow. Okay, so here we go. I used a little bit less this time. Let's see. really fun to see what the powders do. Okay, here we go. Ooh, Ooh that's really cool. Look at how pretty that is. Not sure where the pink came from. All right, so we got to try out four different stencils using the Color Burst powders. I clearly have some more research to go back and do. Um, whether you're inspired to go do some of your own research or you're just going to wait for my next video sharing these, <laughs> that's up to you. But I hope that you enjoyed watching my grand experiment with color burst powders. And I hope to see you guys next time. Remember to hit that subscribe button so you get a little bit more of my comedy channel. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.